Hey guys, welcome to another episode of All Base Creations Effects Tutorials, Demos, and Review. Today, we'll be going through my even more compact um, pedal board setup. Apparently, my my last, um, well, one of my other um, versions of my pedal board wasn't small enough, apparently, to qualify for a <laughs> compact, even though it all fit inside of a board the size of my B6. Um, I got something even smaller for you guys today. So we got just five pedals. Just five pedals and you get all that lusciousness out of five pedals. Um, this is an MXR um, ISO block, ISO brick rather, um, the bigger one with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, 10 outputs on it. Um, great, solid uh, um, power supply. And that's the heart of every pedal board. If you want a good sound with your pedal board, start with a good, with some good power, good clean power. Uh, I put the Velcro on top here in case I want to throw a pedal on here or something, you know, just to utilize space, just because it couldn't fit underneath. But I might put um, some bigger... Uh, rubber feet under here and actually slip this underneath and that would give me the entire uh, entirety of this area but okay so let's move on then i got everything you know y'all know i love my 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 three loop switches um these i get off of amazon for about uh 40 bucks so nothing crazy they they look great you know nice little um horse design on there but it gives me um, three effects loop. I'm only using two on this board. So the first loop, first effects loop is just these three pedals. Well, actually, no, it's just these two. The OC5 and the e EHX Deep Freeze. And then on the, no, no, it is, and the Spectra Comp, Spectra Comp's right there as well. So I put the Spectra Comp there because I wanted that to, matter of fact, Sorry. First thing in the chain is the Spectrocomp. Then the OC5, then the EHX um, Deep Freeze. Sorry, I just put it together. So I'm just remembering why I did things and how I did them. So um, part of that is um, I want that compressor up front so I can compress there as well as I know that this Zoom Unit here has a compressor on it, the MS70 CDR Plus. It's an amazing unit, by the way, but we'll get to that. Let's start with these other amazing units. So the Special Comp is, an, is a very versatile compressor. You can simply um, beam um, different compressor presets into your phone, or you can create your own, which I did. Um, for mine, 
which is um, call it the Nagus comp. You know what I'm saying? So, make make sure y'all subscribe, like, and share. Why 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 not right right now? Go ahead, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? And tell a friend about me. You know what I'm saying? So we can keep this going. And that way, I can get these videos out to you a little faster. You know, get you better quality, get you um, more variety of things. Right now, I'm only doing things about 500 and below, just because it fits what you guys would normally be spending on a pedal. A lot of people don't have the money to spend a thousand dollars on one pedal, but a lot more of you guys can afford these 500 and below pedals. And plus, it's really just what I use. Like I, these are just pedals I use anyway, and I wanted to try out anyway. You know, um, as you can see, um, uh, they ain't going nowhere. They on the pedal board. So, um, and so, so it's just, it's just this, by the way, it's just this much. This is the compact portion of the board. Um, I actually have all of these pedals, these ones up here, these ones in this smaller one, and the ones on the floor down here are on another pedal board, and I have them all split up into pretty much three different size pedal boards that I can just marginally put wherever, so I can move an entire pedal board to a different effects loop if I wanted to, and vice versa, you know, I can switch things around very easily, put it like that. So, um, back to this board. So I got the special comp up front, very versatile. Um, then we run that into the OC5, a very versatile um, octave, great sound. Got the OC2 sound in there, as well as you have the, let's peel some of this stuff back. As well as you have what I was using more, the chordal poly mode. So let's hear a little bit of that. Let's first start with my bass dry. Special comp. So as you can see, it's a very versatile compressor, the way I have it set up um, on my preset. Um, and just the default preset, one of the things I love about the um, TC Electronic BH500 head is the TC Electronic, is the, the Spectra Comp section of it, you know. Um, so the default setting works fine, but, you know, I had to do, tweak a little few things for my sound, you know, make it, make it personal. But that way I can use the knob all the way up and down as I need to and get that really um, squash sound when I need to as well as I can get just a medium compression or just a little light touch, you know. So I typically would keep it somewhere around 11 o'clock or 10, 11 o'clock, somewhere around there. <laughs> Right? 
But then you add on the OC5. So as you can see, even even if you were to use it all the way down, you know, depending on how you got it set, you don't even have to switch it on and on as much. But it just adds a little bit to the chords. And just so you can hear exactly what it's doing, I'll bring it up just a little bit. So this gives you plenty of options um, with this with that particular sound. Of course, you know, lots of chordal things you can do. And if you just want a straight up synth sound, I p actually prefer the poly um, side of it. Um, and I use the, just the octave down. And the cool thing, cool thing about it is with this uh, multi stomp, you got six effects right there. So anything I want to do chorus wise or, or modulation wise, you know, uh, modulation effects or delay, reverb, um, filters. Um, I even have a bit crusher in there and a ring mod, I believe. So I believe the ring mod is in there. Um, but I know the bit crusher is in there. So, you know, it also has my um they changed the name of it to it's, it's it's they call it the low pass filter now but it's it's pretty much their m filter from the previous series which is my favorite filter i thought they took it out and and they actually just renamed it and that's amazing this is my favorite um filter effect on these zoom units so i'm glad they put it back let's hear a little bit of that though well, no, 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 no. We can't. We can't just skip over like this. Sorry, guys. I was about to skip over. 
But then we got the the EHX deep freeze. Um, so what I like to do is I'll take that synth sound before we even get to the MS-70 CDR Plus. Yeah. Now I'm using the deep freeze like a um, sustain pedal of sorts, you know, and I can I can do different things. I can stack notes or I can just get into the real um, different territory of sounds, you know, um, sound, um, some real, um, create some real soundscapes, you know, some just some real imagery. And so that's just the Spectra Comp, the OC5, and the Deep Freeze. And I have the Deep Freeze on auto mode. Um, you know, I don't know if you can you guys see that. So what I got what I got so far is just the octave down on the OC5. Then on the Deep Freeze, I have just the just the effect signal, no dry signal, and I have it in um, auto mode, which is the red mode, and I have the speed layer knob set to about 12 noon, and I have the glissando set to about uh, about eight, about eight. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the face of a clock, by the way. I don't know if y'all even, everybody even know what analog clocks look like anymore. You know, but you know you'll have to look it up. And where you see eight o'clock is where that knob will be. <laughs> um, all right, so let's move on. And the thing I love about this lower pedal board is just right there, I got, I got a ton of shaping capabilities. I got everything I need from solo tones to synth tones from the OC5, you know, if I wanted to, um, before we even get there, if I wanted to just do... <laughs> So I can even get my guitar synth type sounds, um, do rhythm guitar type stuff or do solo type stuff, you know, um, with that. And that's just the special comp in OC5, you know, I can add some delay and reverb with the um, MS-70 CDR Plus as well. But, you know, this um, deep freeze is crazy. It's a it's a mix between the freeze pedal and the um, super ego, um, so it's got that nice glissando effect. You can stack chords. Let's see which mode. This mode.
So it's just like having <laughs> like a sustain pedal kind of like for your bass, which is really cool. Um, especially when you're doing chordal things and you're, um, you know, just experiment with different sounds. You know, it's 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 quite a amazing piece of gear in that way. Um, very simple to use. Um, doesn't take up any space. I love these nano pedals. As you can see, three out of the five um, main actual effects pedals is uh, mini pedals, you know, these little nano pedals. And they can do so much now. Like, they, these pedals used to have to be almost the size of this board <laughs> to get these type of sounds. Now they decide they something that fit that your hand can just cover up, you know. But, all right, let's keep it moving. So now we're going to come up. You can just leave the spectra comp on. That's the other good thing about the spectra comp. Really, I could, um, if I raise them legs up, I can mount the power supply and um, this the spectra comp underneath because I really don't need to ever touch the spectra comp like that, you know. But I do like to have access to it to be able to change now, so I probably will keep it right there. But, you know, that's also an option, you know, or, you know, we got the um, Tone X1 here, which is, you know, really being a real powerhouse of the board there in terms of it also, it has unlimited amp models. So pretty much everything I have in my room, um, my studio here, office, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, I can pretty much, I pretty much have in there all my preamps. So all these preamps you see, all these analog preamps, including things like the the color box, um, got that in there. And all these presets are going to be available for you guys. So don't worry about it. You'll be able to buy them and everything. I'm going to have um, different packs. I'm going to have my settings for the MS70 uh, CDR Plus. I'm going to have my settings for the MS60B Plus, which is this one right here. Um, what else? I'm going to have, um, all these different EQ settings I have for all my different preamps, Magellan, um, Gensler, Magellan, excuse me, AG, Aguilar, AG preamp, Eden, Digbeth, Laney Digbeth, um, Ampeg, SGT, all this stuff going to be available for you guys, along with all the cabinets that I own with various mics, including this one, which is the RE320, um, SM57, the Audix D6, you know, all those IRs are going to be available for you guys as well. So, you know, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be really nice, you know what I'm saying? You guys will be able to just download things, throw them on. If you got a B6 or you got a SGT, you can just throw the IRs on there. Or if you have a Tone X1, you can throw the preamps and the IRs on there, mix them up, whichever way you want to. But that's just a little shameless little plug. I had to do it. I mean, I'm advertising everybody else's stuff here. Got to throw mine in there. And I'm almost done um, packaging that stuff for you guys. It takes a little while to get all this stuff and, you know, presets just right and everything to sound perfect the way I know I want it to translate for you guys. But that's back to the board. All right, so now we here. So let me strip back um, what I got on here. I love this new interface, you know, in terms of the buttons as well. The buttons are definitely way easier to navigate than, than the older models, you know. So that helps. I'm still getting used to the menus, though. I'm still getting a little... Yeah, not really confused, but still a little shaky on them. Sorry you guys can't see. It's nothing I can't do with this screen <laughs> in terms of getting you guys to be able to see it. It's just not working with me very well on it. But I promise when I do um, my preset videos and things like that, um, where I'll be showing you guys my actual presets that I've created, um, I will do that through the app on the iPad or the phone. So you guys will be or the um, computer. Um, and that way you guys can see it, you know, that'd be a lot better, but Oh, let me see something. Give me one second, guys. That's the plug in in my phone.
Oh, let's see what's this. So, but yeah, um, this pedal board here, I really, I really, um, really kind of thinking about um, how I wanted to kind of put it together. Sorry about that, guys. Just thinking about how I wanted to put it together, and I didn't, you know, they the guys said uh, a few guys said they wanted something even more compact, and here you go. Um, so you actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 14 different effects chain here. Even though it's just five pedals, it's, it's, it could be up to 14 different effects at a time because the the zoom pedal has six effects at a time. This also has amp models, IRs, um, noise gate, a compressor, and reverb. So that also is five. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, that's five effects. So that's eleven. That's eleven. Yeah, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen effects chain. Yeah, that's crazy. For something this size, look, look. See, just for a reference, it's it's barely even the length of my arm. Very small, compact pedal board. Now this is really compact. I don't want to hear no. I don't, don't give me no crap on this. This is this is compact. If it gets any more compact, it's just two pedals. That ain't no pedal board for real. Till you gonna throw two pedals on a pedal board? Come on, what's the point of that? Just carry them joints. Like, come on. This you gotta have some pedals on the pedal board, even though they it's compact. So, um, yeah. Let's get to it. Um, so first thing I have up in this chain is a, a swell uh vibrato, uh, which is one of my favorite vibrato effects on any on any pedal. I love I love having a pre-delay where it kind of it lets this thing sing. So just for an example, let's go synth. Let's go a nice little synth tone on the OC5. Just sings a little bit. So I use it very subtly, you know, very subtly. Um, I'm not going to give you all my settings on this stuff, primarily because, well, you guys will be able to buy all this stuff. So, But that's the effect by itself, um, which is, like I said, the swell vibrato. Um, then I have up a bit crusher. So I can... Really starting to get into that synth territory now. Get real funky with that. And if you just wanted to, you know. Now you got a whole different sound. You got, you're just getting in just crazy synth flexibility 
without buying like one synth pedal. I, I don't really like a lot of the synth pedals, bass synth pedals. They're too limited. Like it's like that they get this one fart, galactic fart sound, and that's pretty much it. You know, I like some versatility. And, you know, from my experience, I get a bigger sound from multiple pedals or or just have an ability to put the right things together. Because sometimes certain things sound better with an OC5, but some things sound better with a poly blue. So just depends on which one I, I'm, you know, using that day. But that's the, the old bit crusher. You know, and I can, I only got that on like balance wise it's only got that on like two it's it's a really strong bit crusher that's 15 Right here I have a stereo chorus, which is a very nice clear chorus. You know, I'm only using um about 14, 14 for the mix, you know, so about 14% of the effects um sound process sound. So we got plenty of options there. Um, I can also, um, if I hit library here, I can go up, scroll through different ones. One of my other favorite is Detune. You can use that for just about any synth sound and vary in degrees and you're gonna get a nice, And mind you, it also has the synth pedal on there. So say I didn't want to um, fool with putting none of that together. Um, this pedal already has the Z synth pedal. Right? So you go over the special pedal. You, also, you actually got a few. You got the mono synth. I don't really like the mono synth because it doesn't track very well. <laughs> Right 
Maybe for slower parts? Yeah, but, you know, if you try to add anything with a little bit of speed on it, it ain't going to work too well. I don't know why they still have this dumb Z organ still on here. They should have been took this off. This is their worst effect, and it sounds terrible. It's like, what context are you supposed to use? This out of tune organ. So, like, the thing sounds terrible. Rotary. Leslie sound. Which is actually useful, you know, when you got a multi effects, I mean, um, a multiple octaves um, available to you in the OC5. Where this thing at? Let's see stuff. Where is it? No, it's in here. I could have sworn it was in here. Yeah. Maybe I misspoke. Um, I don't think it'd be in the modulations. It might be. It'll be the first time I was wrong. Oh, not to mention on here you get you get octaverse too that you know are modeled after the OC two as well. So you know you got those options on here as well. You really could just take this little thing or the MS sixty B plus and rock to a gig if you really want to be that compact. But if you want to have some some options, you throw that bad boy on the pedal board and it just it it just it opens up the world of possibilities to you so much. There's the ring modulator. So you get a lot of options with the ring modulator too, you know, that's pretty cool. Beautiful slicer. I could have sworn, I could have sworn that pedal was on here, but wouldn't be the first time I was wrong. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, but yeah, if they did have it on here, that would be awesome. But I, be, I, I believe they're going to give us the option to add effects and take effects off, uh, I believe, through the app. But you also get a slew of compressors on here, too. Limiters, noise gate, um, two noise gate, three noise gates, you know, slow attack, which is like a um, fade in. You get all these different effects here. So this makes this makes this pedal board way more um it makes it way more um like expansive and just versatile. The amount of effects, you know, you don't get any um drives or nothing like that, you know. I just use Bit Crusher. I I prefer Bit Crusher a lot of times for some stuff anyway. Um but if I want to do more of a dirtier sound, I can do that when we get into next, the Tone X one. Granted, I might want that sound before, but most of the time I'm not big on overdrive and distortion like that, you know, where I need it. Um, generally, if I want something for my filter to sweep on, it'll probably be a bit crusher just because it gives like this nice grittier texture. Um, now, I do have... Let's go ahead and get to the, um, matter of fact, let's go back. So let me put this back on the, what's modulation? Um, stereo chords. So you get phasers, tremolo, um, bass detune. <laughs> It's a 
been chorus. You know, you get some nice weird effects in there. There, if you were if you put that in context of like some um, what they call it, shoegazer or um, some ambient type stuff, that's gonna be fire. That, that chorus, that Ben chorus, would be fire in that type of situation. All right, so. Now we're getting to the low pass filter, which is like a Moog style filter. fire and you can slap with that giant you can you can do whatever you want with that sound you know what i'm saying you can easily just fire Mind you, still got two more slots on here. That's only four effects. You still got two more. Got a, a nice ice delay on here. Also add a particle delay. I mean a particle reverb. So very versatile. That's just one patch right there. And I can literally just come over here if I wanted to set up a bunch of patches and just press up, down, up, down, just switching patches. And not have to even worry about it. That's a polyphonic um, octaver and analog chorus, ice delay, and shimmer reverb. Shimmer reverb and the shimmer reverb too. Um, particle reverb, ice delay, um, the modulation delays that are in here. It's quite a few things that are in here that are crazy, that are amazing, um, especially for the money, like the sound quality and the... Um, flexibility of the unit is amazing but this is if you want to watch the review on that you know you can check that out as well let's get to the tonex so on the tonex now i have like i said all my preamps so instead of taking all of these preamps over here you know that whole um so pretty much from here to here to here and then i got like i said i got the color box here um all that stuff plus the amp heads you know i got a jens band shuttle 9 t electronic bh500 an ampeg ba 210v2 and a little mark uh little mark 3 over there you know all these different settings and preamps and stuff and i have them all in my tonex <laughs> all of them in this lower pedal 
and they sound really good like they sound really good like you will not be able to distinguish between the two sounding so good so let me see what we got here um let's go back um to here and we should let's turn this stuff off I don't know why I did it that way when I could have just did it this way. Other thing, like this line selector they got on here, you can use it as one of the effect slots, and then you can turn off five effect, turn on or off five effects at a time instead of switch them off individually. You put it at the beginning of the chain, you can turn it off, or you can set it anywhere in the middle of the chain or in, at the end, of, wherever you need it. So, um, so right now I got a color box. Um, tone model up. That's stupid warm. That <laughs> train sound just like it. That's, that's stupid warm to be something this small. You know how big this color box is? Box, like you can get like three or four of these and fit them right here. You can just fit them back to back. They'll fit. That's crazy. Um, so you got that. Um, you know, and I keep it in this mode right here, browser mode. Um, a lot of the times when I'm actually performing, when during sound check, I'll pick uh, three, three different amps that I want to use, um, or amp and cabinets, depending on if I'm using an amp. Most of the time, I'm using an amp. So, what I usually would do is I'll run this entire rig into the power amp in on my amps, and that way I can take advantage of all the preamps and amp heads and change them whenever I want to. Versus, because more than likely, even though I might have the actual head there of the tone model I might be using, I might want to switch to a different amp head. So I'll actually use the tone model instead of using the actual and the actual physical preamp in the amp head just so I would have the flexibility to be able to switch because they are so close. Like, I mean, almost indistinguishable. I mean, you have to be... I mean, I don't, I don't really know too many people that would ever be able to tell the difference between the two. And it's only certain ones that you can even tell the difference on, like, at all. Like, most of them are spot on. Like, I mean, exactly what it would sound like using the preamp. But I digress. Um, you know. So, like I said, I got the, the color box right there. Um, which one is this? And pig. So here's... here's um, Aguilar slap. A little Laney. And that's a mix of the tube and the FET channel on there. And then we're back at the color box.
So I'm actually just kind of flipping through some of the different um, preamps. I have my preamp settings for all my different amps. Like I got the um, the last one you just heard was the Harky TX600 2 preamp. Um, and this one is the Shuttle 9, um, 9.0, which is, has a 2 preamp as well. That's the Ampeg BA 210 right there. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, SGT. It's a B15 on the SGT, Ampeg SGT. Here's an over, overdriven. Uh, here is the SVT. Here, the Mark Base, Mark, uh, Little Mark Three. So, you have plenty of options, you know. And actually, I usually keep more than one of each one, um, more than one preset. You know, here's an Eden WTDI. Jensler. So, you know, I pretty much got a ton of amps and we ain't even, I ain't even tell you guys that I have the, the, um, the cabinets off at the moment. I just locked it. So I got the cabinets off at the moment because I run it as a, as a, um, straight into the power amps of my amps at the moment. So I'm going to show you that guys that in one second. But I want to show you guys a few of the presets with those same presets with the actual speaker cabinets on them. So here's here's some of the IRs, some of them.
So that's a nice TC Electronic BH500 head. My setting with a um, the actual BC 410s, you know. So you know you can't even get that rig no more. You know what I'm saying? So you get all that, you can get it from me though. You know what I'm saying? You can get my presets, but you know that's pretty much um, the gist of that pedal and how I use it on there. Um, by itself, if I was just running straight into the system, I just would turn the cabinets on. Um, if I wanted to turn them off or on, on or off with just the pedal, I just hold down the alt for six seconds. Right? Just hold it basically till you see it change. And then I turn this middle knob to its red. And then bam. Now, cabinets are off. thing i love about this the one of the main things i love 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 sorry to be yelling at my guys one of the things i absolutely love about this um this tonex is it also it does enough variation where it even gets the gain right like when the gain stage another amp right so if i wanted more of a grittier sound i just would turn if you when it's flashing so when this is solid um, the alt button is solid, not blinking, you know, solid like that. Then um, it's the this big knob functions as the master volume or the not the master volume. Yeah, the master volume, master volume. So and then the when you when it's blinking, it, all, it functions as the gain knob. So you can push up into the gain and turn the volume down separately, you know, which is really cool. Get nasty. TC Electronic head, boy, like, especially my settings. I, I'm, that's only thing about it is it's 30 pounds. See how big that thing is? 30 pounds. But it fits right into this this pedal here now, this Tone X1, which is crazy. Not only that, but, you know, um, you guys can hit that subscribe, like, and share button. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Subscribe, like, and share. But um, you can also... Like I said, pushing to them textures, it'll save that stuff too. So when I come back to the sound, it'll be right there. And I can switch throughout the show, clean. Um, in between. Even this one, I can push up into this one. different preamp settings right there so 
right there just had an Aguilar sound, a Laney sound, and a TC Electronic sound, all ready to go. Cycling film. That's amazing. You know how much work that would be just switching all that stuff on stage, or um, you know how much extra gear. You know these these um, analog preamps are not cheap. That's my main thing or reason why I love the Tonex. They're those preamps aren't cheap, and for you know for you guys, especially you guys that are just starting out. You, you'll be able to grab a Tonex and you'll have access to all my sounds. You know, I, as you can see, you know, that that Gensler, that's 300. The um, the AG, that's 300. The Eden, that was 150. The uh, Dig Beth, that's 225 or 240, whatever that is. That's, uh, this joint was uh, 400. The Ampeg was 400. It's doing sell for 350 right now. You know, you might want to catch that. Um, but you know, the color box, that's 400, you know, um, these heads are stupid expensive, you know, Jens Ben's heads aren't cheap. Um, the Mark base head, that stuff is not cheap. You know, you got a Jens Ben's 212 cabinet that's going to be available for you guys. Um, they got a GK, um, uh, 115 Neo, the third generation. You're going to have the Ampeg BA uh, V2 uh, 210 cabinet available. Harky High Drive 210. Fender Bassman Neo 115. You're going to have the TC Electronic BC 410s. You're going to have all this stuff available to you. And you can just put it right on your Tonex. The IRs you can put on any any um, device that will allow you to put IRs. But all this stuff is gonna be right readily available. But that's that's how crazy technology is, man. You know, I would I would definitely suggest checking out the Tone X1 for sure. Especially if you um you like my sounds and you wanna you wanna um a you want the most realistic amp models is gonna be the Tone X1. Period. These zoom pedals, they they're gonna cover all your effects, but the Tone X1 has way better um amp models and you know irs and things like that you know plus the unlimited modeling you can do yourself you know so it's got a lot of features with that tone x you know i i personally i love that little pedal um that that right there is i could take that and this empress compressor and that's a that's a mean rig just the tone x one and the empress compressor I just, these Empress compressors are not cheap. Like, these joints is like $300. I'm not trying to take that out the house all the time, especially because I want it to sound super pristine for years because um, it's my main, one of my main recording tools that I use. Um, I don't really want that to be everywhere in the world just getting beat up too much. Even though I might get an extra one so I can, you know, because the sound, I want that sound everywhere, but... You know, I'm on a budget too. You know what I'm saying? I I ain't I ain't um uh, where exactly where I want to be at the moment. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I got I got to budget things out. You know, try things out. Some things I keep. Some things I take back. You know what I'm saying? If if I like it, I'll keep it. You know, you'll see it on the pedal board somewhere if I like it. You know, <laughs> but um yeah. In terms of a compact pedal board, this is um. A very versatile setup. Um, I don't, you know, if you wanted to duplicate a very versatile setup, this would be it, and it wouldn't even you be you sticking to, you know, all my settings with this stuff. With the Tone X One, you still can go on Tone Net and download unlimited tone models as well. Um, you can unload. You got um, tons of different artists presets for the Spectra Comp TZ Electronic Spectra Comp pedal. You can. You got a million and one options with these zoom pedals. You know what I'm saying? This has three different modes. This is going to allow you to hold notes and solo. You can hold chords and solo. This is going to allow you um, to have play chords and have the lower notes um, in the octave down um, while unaffecting, not affecting the um, upper register of your bass. But you can still have your octave up as well. 
you know, or you can put it in mono mode and you got two octaves down, one octave down, octave up, and your dry signal to work with. So it just gives you a ton of flexibility this way, you know, building your rig with a nice little compact uh, multi-effects unit on there and these little compact um, nano pedals. Is, is The size of these joints is just crazy. Like, it's not even, it's not, <laughs> look how small these are. Like, you could do a, a tie on this board. I probably could get, like, 12, 12 of those um, if I went all nano um, effects pedals. Like, I, I could literally probably get about 12 um, in this space right here. You know what I'm saying? But um, even if I took these, um, this looper and this, this power off of the actual board, you know. But I'm trying, I was trying to do a quick, you know, compact board for you guys um i wanted you guys to see um how flexible you can get with just a few pedals you really don't need fifty thousand pedals like i have you know i am also i collect them but i also make my living from music so you know i have the privilege of writing this stuff off um so <laughs> you know um and getting everything i want at the same time so um it really you know, for your, you're just starting out, right? So say you're just starting out, um, I would say for your first pedal, you might as well, the MS60B Plus is a really good choice. It's going to, and, and you know, instead of trying to do all this right off the back, something simple would be just the MS60B Plus or a B24, something like that, just getting you started. That's going to allow you to build around it as well because it's it's not a unit that you're going to outgrow. It's a unit that you can use all the way into being a professional um, years down the line. These, I've had these for, for since they came out. And they didn't even come off my pedal board until I got these new ones in. <laughs> this this MS6, uh, the, the pluses, you know. I didn't, I've had these on my pedal board that joint, uh, this one, and my very first multi effects unit, the Zoom B3, and all of these still work and function, you know. All of them are filled up with all my presets, you know. I wish I could give you guys my presets from these, but. Now, with the new ones, you guys will be able to have my actual presets, you know, from them compared to these, you know, you could, I couldn't really give them to you. But, yeah. Sorry. Um, these units are great, and they, are, they last. That's one thing I'm, I, I know about uh, and love about Zoom stuff. They built like tanks, even just the older stuff. But these are still built very high quality while some other people are kind of doing crappy quality right now, then they shall re remain nameless. Uh. But yeah, so this is these new Zoom pedals allow you to get a lot done. You know, if you just get an MS60B Plus, that's six effects at a time. And if you're brand new to effects, you can experiment with all the different types of effects. You don't have to be locked into just a chorus pedal or just a compressor pedal. You have all of that stuff, and you can use it in conjunction, learn which pedal order you like. Excuse me. And one thing I learned from these units, these multi-effects units, is really pedal board order. You know, before I was ever setting up all these pedal boards and stuff like this, I was just I was setting them up digitally which allowed me to experiment with things and not get frustrated and not experiment with things a lot faster by just being able to move an effect this way or that way, add an effect this way or that way, and just keep it moving. You know, so it allowed me to really, as a beginner in effects, because I, mind you, I was, a, I was a professional by the time I got into effects, to be honest. I wasn't really into effects at first, but around my 20s, um, early 20s, I really started loving effects. Um, but I have been playing music. I've been doing music since I was four and, you know, different things like that. So, I'm, you know, these 
these pedals definitely these zoom pedals help shape a lot of my um techniques uh, effects wise you know which also helped me learn how to mix tracks and master tracks so you know our, i went from you know messing around with a few effects to learning um how to really use them not just for bass but how to use them for the mixing and mastering purposes so don't don't shy away from these units these these are the older ones but the new ones are amazing too um you know you probably can find these used these older ones used for probably about 70 bucks and you know um but you can get these new ones brand new for about a buck 20 buck 30 40 something like that yeah and you throw them on your pedal board, you know, and then you just, or you just get it, and then you start building around it. So say you even started out with a MS-70 CDR, because it's got compressors in here and EQ as well. It just doesn't have the amp models and um, all the distortion and overdrive um, that the MS-60B Plus has. So uh, that's why another reason why I have this one on here instead of the base one, you know. The base one I would actually prefer to use as a standalone unit, or I have it right there, um, which is after my octavers on this, um, on that bigger pedal board there, which is mostly analog. Um, but I have it there because I want to be able to add some different textures or the bass synth modulate, uh, bass synth patch on there as well effect. Um, I want to be able to add that to the Octaverse and then run that into the analog stuff because once I go analog, I don't want to go back digital. Um, and go, I want to go analog and then go straight into the computer as much as possible. I don't want to go AD, 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 you know, analog, digital, analog, digital, analog, digital. So trying to keep everything digital, I mean, analog, once it's analog, the entire signal path, like all my filters you see back there are analog, um, so pretty much once I come out of those octavers in that first row, I'll go into the filters and then analog preamps and then analog compressor into the computer. Might I might do an IR if I want to, but I might probably do an IR later. But yeah, I, I, that's why I got this compact board set up like this. This is just like a module of the bigger board. So the bigger board is like kind of my main board. I really don't take this bigger one out the house anymore. I take this, I, I have this so I can just patch this into that board, as well as the one on the floor, which is bigger than this one. Um, I can just patch these two into that board. <laughs> and just like, you know, you, you see them big um, synth, effect, uh, synth things, you know, back in the day, they used to have to plug in all this different stuff, all the module, modular uh, um, synths and stuff, analog synths. It's the same thing, but... Um, I just, because I don't always want to take everything, but I want to have some things ready to go at a drop of a dime. And this would be like the bare minimum I would want to have for a gig. Um, and this is not even, um, this is not even everything I would have on here per se. You know, I still would need a looper pedal. If I was doing like a solo gig, I would need my looper pedal or I would take a Zoom B6 and use the looper on there. It has a really extensive looper on there. So, um, yeah. Yeah, these compact pedal boards are amazing. Um, definitely build you one. Definitely, um, they're a lot of fun. They keep you practicing, and they keep you um, learning new things and doing music, which is ultimately going to keep you interested, keep the instrument in your hand longer, keep you practicing. You know, that's why I love effects, because even when my hands are tired, I can fill around with effects, you know, and I can I can still be playing, but not as intensively as when I'm just focused on just playing. You know, when I'm focusing on tone and sound, I can actually play a lot less and still still be getting, you know, um, something done musically. So, yeah. This has been another episode of All Bass Creations, Effects, Tutorials, Demos, and Review. Please make sure y'all subscribe, like, and share. Hit that like button. I really need y'all hit that like button. Y'all been doing a great job getting these likes up. Um... Make sure y'all subscribe so you don't miss none of this stuff. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the, the comments. You know, uh, I've been trying to get back to and answer most questions. As um, long as it's not nothing crazy, you're not talking crazy to nobody, I got you. Um, 
you know, I don't I don't mind helping folks out. So feel free to to ask questions. Feel free to hit the cash app too. You know what I'm saying? A dollar sign Reggie Payne Base. You feel me? Uh, you know, uh, you can hit the super thanks too as well. Um, and follow me on all social media at the base Nagus. Nagus means king, if you didn't know. Um, N E G U S. And yes, my name is the base king. So, uh, all base creations dot bandcamp dot com. <laughs> No, I rock with y'all, man. I really appreciate y'all rolling with me. And, and I've been getting a lot of, y'all been showing me a lot of love. So thank you. But um, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.